Hey guys, if you want to see how I turn this orange pumpkin into this Harry Potter themed pumpkin, keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some acrylic paint. I have white here and also a brown color. I am just going to put one little drop of the brown color. Now they do sell white colored pumpkins at Michaels and craft stores, but they didn't have a small one and I wanted a small one. So I'm just going to try to achieve more of a light skin flesh tone by mixing these two colors together. So just make sure you mix it up really well and um, only apply a little bit of the brown to see if that is something that you would like. You can darken it or lighten it as needed. Then you're just gonna go ahead and paint your pumpkin. Now I would suggest using a little bit of a bigger brush for this, but this is what I had on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one layer down first, let it dry, and then paint the pumpkin one more layer, just so that orange, as you see here, doesn't peek through. So while that's drying, I am going to take two pieces of felt that I got from Michaels, one red and one yellow. Um, Harry's scarf is supposed to be scarlet and gold and this is the closest that I can find so I'm just going to eyeball the um, size of the scarf. The key here is just to make sure you have some sharp craft scissors so that if it is uneven I can go back and um, kind of straighten it out. I'm going to use that one strip here as a template to cut another strip because after I measured it around the pumpkin I noticed that one strip was not long enough to go all the way around for the scarf so I'm gonna go ahead and cut another one and then I will hot glue those two together so that it will go all the way around the pumpkin and then I'll cut a strip of yellow and then smaller um, smaller sections from there so that I can make the stripes of the scarf and then I will go ahead and hot glue that all together Everything is ready to glue. I'm gonna go ahead and make cuts at the edge here to resemble fringe. And then once these have been glued down, I'll go ahead and cut them level to the rest of the red felt. So the scarf is on, it looks super cute. I just hot glued it to the bottom fourth of the pumpkin and I put a little bit of hot glue um, where it closes in the front. So now I'm gonna take some black construction paper and cut out the glasses and some green construction paper to cut out Harry's eyes. Now there's no real technique to this, as you can see, it's kind of messy, um, but I just needed a circular object as a guideline and then I'm gonna use some scissors to cut out those circles. And then to cut the inside, I actually used an X-Acto on the back of an old dish and here I noticed that, um, and then I cut here the, um, the center of the eyeglasses, but I noticed that I could probably make this a little bit cleaner and I wanted the glasses to be thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out uh, the rims again. So I did it again and I think this face is a lot cuter. So for the construction paper items, I'm using this tacky glue here. I think that um, any wet glue would work though. I am so excited, Harry is looking super cute. I am just gonna go ahead and cut a lightning bolt out of felt. But there's no template for this, I just freestyle cut out a lightning bolt from my leftover red felt. Harry looks so cute, but I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take my white acrylic paint and a small detail brush and add little circles to his eyes and then we'll be all done. So this is easily the most favorite pumpkin I've ever done and it was done pretty inexpensively and without a lot of mess so I'm excited about that. If you did like the video I would appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe just because this is my first video and if you'd like to see more I would be happy to make more. I also wanted to mention that this was inspired by a video by Karen Cavett and I will link her channel down below. So until next time, happy crafting!